colouring tools section and if you have a look just here you'll see that it's got new sponge brayers. So we used to have brayers that were made out of rubber and they were fabulous um, but fairly um, unforgiving I suppose would be the way to say it because if you rolled on them, if you roll um, across the page with the roller, they're essentially a rubber roller, um, unless you were quite skillful with it, it would leave lots and lots of um, lines basically, roller lines on there. So now we've got these sponge brayers and I was, to be honest, fairly sceptical when I saw um, the sponge brayers in the new catalogue because they're well, they're just $14 and you get them in this box here. So you get two handles and four little rollers. And mine are all coloured because I've been using them, but they come all white. Um, and all you do with them is when you've, you've used them, so you've used them on your ink pads, and then once you've used them, you just pop, you've got like a little um, solid rod through them. You pop them out and you take out the little rod and then you um, rinse them under some um, cold water to clean them off a little bit and then they're ready for another go, another time once they've dried. So I was a little bit sceptical because I just wondered why we would go from a really heavy rubber brayer to a sponge, a sponge brayer. Um, I suppose I had to buy it to find out why we would do that and the answer is that they're just a little bit easier to use. They're a little bit easier to get a good outcome from um, and being $14 it's not a huge purchase either so you, you're not the risk factor of purchasing is low as well. So I thought I would show you um, how they come up. And, and how I'm enjoying them. The colours I'm using is Melon Mambo and all I'm going to do to ink it up is just like so and then I'm going to start again off the page but off one end and come up the page like so. Now the thing I think that I noticed first off with changing to the sponge brayer was if that had been the rubber brayer, that would have been a really strong colour across the page straight away, whereas the sponge brayer gives a lot lighter touch. Now, the benefit of that is that you have more room to get it right. You have more time to get it right. So by adding more colour and gently sponging up and down, you're going to find that the colour really does um, evenly blend in to the paper. Like so. So you've really, you don't have the lines that you used to have when you were sponging. Well, there's a few lines there, but that's nowhere near the really harsh lines of the old brayer, sorry. The, um, I'm just going to swap out to a different colour. Now, so I'm taking off that one and I can then just go and run that once I've finished chatting to you um, and run it underneath some water and give it a clean. The other, next colour I'm going to is Tangerine Tango. And again, rolling, rolling, rolling on that. Now I'm going to actually start in the centre and bring in some tangerine tango and I think this is actually going to be a really lovely happy card. What would even be nice would be to put um, to do some heat embossing before I started perhaps with um, clear embossing um, uh, totally clear embossing if I'd had a nice big sentiment in the middle there that would have been nice and then to have sponged over the top of it. I've actually just popped the um, Melon Mambo sponge back on and I'm just blending these two colours into each other then back to isn't that nice but you cannot even see 
that where the two colours start and finish, which I think is just so pretty. All right, last colour. I'm going to take off the Melamambo because I know I won't come back to that one now. And I'm popping on this one and I'm going to pull out the Daffodil Delight. It's pretty and it's happy. And back onto that. And then bringing it in. And I don't mind the fact that I'm going to be going into the other colour because I'm going to be washing out these little sponges anyway. So let's get the colours working into one another. What do you think? Are you liking these colours together? I think one of the um, ways of really working out what colours go together is the colours that you would see in nature together. And I think this is kind of a really lovely sunset colour. So there you go. That is the new sponge brayer.